Hi everybody, it's Dr. Jen for another What You Want to Know Wednesday. This video is coming to you from a place of frustration. <laughs> I um, hear quite often in the office when we are a second or third opinion that another orthodontist told someone that after taking x-rays or photographs of a child's teeth and jaws, that if orthodontics is not done immediately, that child will have a lifetime airway problem. And that makes me sad because that is using fear tactics, not science-based tactics, to get parents to commit to treatment for their children. And not to say that orthodontists have no place at all in airway management, but orthodontists are not the ones that diagnose airway problems. That is not our job, that is not our area of specialty, and we should never be the first ones you hear that from. If an orthodontist is truly concerned about the airway of your child, what they should be telling you is to go see someone about it, a family physician or a sleep physician or a pediatrician. Um, they should not be telling you that they are the solution to that. That is inaccurate and that is just using fear to get you to do something. If they suggest there's a problem and refer you onwards, that's what you should expect because a medical doctor should be involved if there's any concern at all about the airway of any child. So I hope that that is helpful to a few people who hear this. Um, always get a second opinion if you're unsure of what you're hearing, but medical problems should be dealt with with medical doctors. And if we end up being an adjunct in that, great, we're always happy to help, but we should never be the primary person diagnosing something as serious as that, just like we wouldn't diagnose you with heart disease or kidney problems or anything like that. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. See you next week. Bye-bye.